Let's try another one. We're going to convert seven days into seconds. I'm going to start by drawing the backbone of my railroad track, and I'm going to put where I'm starting seven days up here on the front end and draw that bar to separate it. And down here on the other end, I'm going to place the units that I want to go to. In this case, it's seconds. Days is on top, which means to cancel, the next day has to go underneath here on the bottom. And I don't know how many seconds there are in a day, but I do know how many minutes there are in a day. So I'm going to start there. For every one day, and days gets the one because it's bigger, there are 1,440 minutes. Okay, now minutes is on the top, so minutes is going to go underneath, and seconds is going to go on the top. Again, minutes are bigger than seconds, so the minutes gets a one, and 60 seconds in every minute. Okay, now before I go crazy with the calculator here, I'm just going to uh, verify that all of my units cancel. Days on top cancels with days on the bottom. Minutes on the top cancels with minutes on the bottom. Leaves me with seconds. Seconds are going to get dragged down here to the end and become part of the answer. Now if I had set this up incorrectly and seconds somehow ended up underneath, uh, then I would know I had done something wrong. So the units not only have to cancel top to bottom, but it also has to work out so that they just slide down. They're not allowed to jump over the line on their way down to the end. So I'm going to get my calculator out and put in 7 times 1440 times 60, and I find that there are Six hundred and four thousand eight hundred seconds in one day. A lot of seconds.